And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Seven Days to Die. And here we are, the morning of day seven. Yes, day seven. It is all coming down to tonight. And I'm just... I don't know if I'm prepared or not. I would like to crack... I would like to get a few... Uh, you know what? I'm going to go back to, over to the burn forest. There, There's probably some air conditioners or some other machines around that I can use to get some... I, I want to grab... I want to grab some mechanical parts. So today's today's episode is going to be about finding some machines, getting some mechanical parts, getting ourselves a workbench, and then hopefully having enough time left to, to you know beef up our spike defenses around our base some more. Oh, not if I keep running out of stamina trying to get from A to B though. That's definitely not going to help. And uh, hopefully staying out of the way of zombies and any hordes that may wander. Um, I don't want to beef up my, my level too much. Because if we look at my game stage, I'm already at 42 for my game stage. For, uh, for a day one horde, 42 is, uh, is a little much. So I got to be careful. I got to be very, very careful. Um, I just cleared this out. So hopefully nobody has respawned. There's a few more. Oh, I think I've got enough. Oh yeah, I've definitely got enough now. I did beef up in the in version two of the mod the uh, which is it salvage operations. Um, don't look at these descriptions. I tried to change these these descriptions, and for some reason I couldn't override them. But anyway, the the wrench the wrench is much better now. Much much better. Um. Just because that was one of the suggestions after version one was out. One of the suggestions to me was to beef that up a little bit. She doesn't see me yet. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, I don't... Wait, what was that? Oh, chrysanthemum. I do want some more... Do want some more feathers because I kind of ran out. I don't want to run out during Horde Night. That would be that would be a very bad thing to run out of run out of ammo during Horde Night. Hmm. I'm not seeing any nests. There's one. Five. I want more feathers than that. Uh, what resource is this? Iron. Okay. Just trying to determine where my resource veins are. I know we've got a coal vein near us. It would be nice to find like a, a lead vein and a nit nitrate vein. 13 okay well, now we're now we're getting somewhere okay so wow they actually took out one of the spikes there hopefully with the spikes I'll be able to defend enough to not worry too much but now keep in mind that zombies can actually jump. So the spider zombies are very, very deadly. Um, so we're going to grab this. We're going to put this good wrench away. Grab these two things. And uh, we have enough wood. I should be able to build 
workbench. Now, putting it in the middle of the room might help zombies from beating on it. If you put it against a wall and they get up here, they might beat on it. So we don't want to do that. So workbench, our very own workbench, which means we can, you know, craft more quick axes. Uh, you can do diamond axe. That's the that's the the top tier right there, the diamond axe. I hear something. Yet another. Another wandering horde. And they just chopped a tree down. All right, fat ladies. Okay, this is not going to work. They are going to tear through. They do line up nicely when you uh, when you try to kite them. Well, this is this is going to do wonders for my XP. Can I can I kill one of you ladies? Good lord. Keep hitting the ones behind her. Look at all the fat ladies. Oh, not not where I wanted to go. Where did you come from? You go away. Okay, let's see if we can handle this here. Wow, these these ladies are sponges. really need to up my headshot bonus Wow How many arrows have I pumped into these ladies No, I didn't hit you in the stomach. She's still not dead. Now she's dead. Look at all the arrows. Any over here? These are probably already despawned. Those little bags only last a minute. Oh, there's another there's another lady I didn't see. Oh, she's not dead. I didn't see any XP pop up. Wow. Wow. That was Whew. That was nuts. Yeah, I'm down to 82 arrows again. <laughs> oh, man. I don't have enough time in the day.
Uh, yeah. We're gonna need... We're gonna need, like, extra... A little extra luck and magic here is I'm gonna try. Yeah, it, the the bullet sponge mechanics now. I mean, guns guns do way more damage. Um, arrows are supposed to do a considerable amount of head headshot bonus damage, but they still lack a certain certain amount and uh you know spikes I, I did beef spikes up a bit but they're still not in you know they're still not infallible so uh, i can get to those up there i just need to make sure all my sides are covered especially the front here because this is where a lot of the a lot of the zombies are gonna funnel to. They love doors. So there's a two line spike there. Come out here. I only have twenty three left. I'm gonna need some more wood. And I really wanna make sure the underneath this perch is well covered because I, I that's where I plan to to stand if they come from this direction uh, so let's sneak through there we need some more wood and maybe just maybe find some find some birds nest I haven't I haven't come across cuz I'm gonna need way more arrows Uh, oh, that's a that's an itty bitty tree. Uh, the beauty of the quick axe, you can. Uh, I did. I should have gotten. Let's go strength. Mother load. Let's get a another strength. Get one of those. Um, this perception, this boom headshot would be so nice. Perception five, and that needs player level thirty. So I'm a I'm a ways from that. Um, so pack mule would allow would uncover this row here, these five, uh, which would help. But those are more or less for. Those are for, that'll be for looting. I'll get, I should get enough where uh, melee and block damage. Stamina would be nice. Max health would be really nice. Um, and then I could, that's fortitude five. So I'm not quite there yet. Max health would be handy, but I'm going to, I'm going to go for more. Oh, I guess I can't. So, melee and block damage. I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for health instead. Ooh. Uh, how far away is that? Oh, I don't know if I can get there and back in time. That might have to be something we do in the morning. Because... We are coming up to Horde Night really fast. It might not seem like it, but it is going to be upon us very, very soon. Hey, you wouldn't by chance have a, a mining helmet I could borrow, do you? Stop twitching. No, he's still not down. Still not down. There he goes. Thank goodness.
You know, I've gotten, I have gotten various reactions to my quick acts, but I mean, I don't think I've actually met anybody that would sit and watch me, you know, chop wood for 20 minutes. So, you know, that's a thing. I'd rather just cut a few trees and be done with it. All right. Do we have any more? Oh, keep seeing small rocks, thinking they're what I'm looking for. Um, let's go weapons. Iron arrow. Yeah, I need iron arrowheads. Derp. Thought I had. I thought I had them on me, but I put them. I put them back in the in the crate. Getting rid of some of the trees around me won't uh, won't hurt anything either. Please, oh wow, the feathers are for some reason they're kind of hard to come by right now. I need some feathers. Feathers, oh, there we go. There's another one. Yes, there's another one. Yes, iron. I don't need. Uh, crawl up here. So yeah, getting rid of some of these trees will improve my line of sight during Horde Night. And this one definitely. This one's really hard to see around. Yeah, I know I'm leveling up a, a few more times than I really wanted to, but you know, I I have to Well, if they come from this direction, they might actually get caught up enough to try to pound their way through that. Um, one thing I could do is add some to the top there in case some we in the case that we get some jumpers. Uh, let's craft up some more wooden spikes. Well, I can craft some barbed wire fence. Interesting. So can I do like another hundred? There we go. Um, let's go over here. And this is going to be a very, ooh. I want to try to make life as difficult for the zombies as I possibly can, which means, can I repair this one? No, that. There we go. And then I need to finish off this because this is kind of where I want to stand. I just got to make sure. I just got to make sure I don't fall. You know, just don't fall down onto your spikes, and you know, life will be way better. So let's. Get these up since the front of the house where the door is is always going to be the most popular no matter which direction they come from um, it might even be wise to put like a, a row out here I don't know if I have enough wood for that though I've got I've got quite a bit I can make another 500 so let's put a row to sort of slow down the the progress inevitably when they when they run through it's going to be it's going to be tough don't if you if you're a first time player especially on alpha 17 if you're a first time player don't underestimate what a horde knight is going to do to you it is always, always, always better to over-prepare 
than to be caught by surprise. I really hate these twitchy guys. Really? Did you even... Did you even... react to that second arrow I put in your head? I swear, I... The zombies... I could almost swear that they... Um, when they're in the middle of an animation cycle, they just ignore incoming damage. They just are like, didn't happen. Let's do like 200 more. So this will hopefully kind of weed out a lot of the early, early zombies that come in during Horde Night. Now, I could easily, easily so easily run afoul of my own spikes, so I want to be careful. Okay, what what is going on here? Uh, I want everything about this place to scream, go away. We do not want you around. And with the quick axe, it's easy enough to get rid of a spike than it is to have a hole in your defenses. So when you're gearing up for a horde night, always be wise to that. Uh, okay. Leaving a gap. One, two, right there. I want a way in that I can plug during horde nights. And hopefully... I won't be here long. Hopefully I'll be able to start on my base soon. There. Now, if this area doesn't absolutely scream, we do not want zombies around. I don't know what will. Okay, go over here. Those are all set. Over here, those are all set. These are all set. We are more or less prepared. I've got a few on me that I can use to cover up the gaps here. And uh, any panic mode versions that I have. I, I'm so tempted to go grab this because who knows what's there. But I just don't have the time. I mean, it's almost 1800 and... You know, it, it's it's time for another wandering horde, and I definitely definitely think that if we get another horde, another wandering horde, um, you know, like just as the sun is going down, we're gonna need some extra spikes to kind of fill in those gaps because the wandering horde is gonna come crashing in on all those and uh, all those zombies and all that wood gave me. Uh, I need to craft some seeds so we can start farming sometime soon. What is my level? Oh, I'm level 29. So close to that level 30. Uh, I kind of want to keep those skill points for when that time does come. But yeah, we are, we are prepped for Horde Night. And uh, do I want to... I want. Oh, well, yeah. I need to craft some more. Uh, let's get that out of my face, please. Um, let's craft some more. Uh, you. 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 Well, I'll keep the cobblestone rocks on me. Uh, polymers. A repair kit might actually come in handy. Um, feathers, yeah, I'm gonna need. Let's let's uh, build some iron arrows. Forty one only. That hurts. Uh, so I'm gonna need. Oh, there's thirty three more. Holy cow! Craft those up, and let's see. Oh man, 
That is, that's an ominous sound right there. Uh, oh, see, I got crossbow bolts. How much would it take to make a repeating crossbow? Duct tape to glue. I don't even know if I have any of that stuff. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to risk a sort here. I don't see any, anything around. Okay. I need the hunting rifle, this hunting rifle, these two rounds. Worst comes to worst. I can use the steel rounds. Pistol. I've got a good, a good SMG. So I'm going to scrap the pistol. And that should give me some mechanical parts. And let's see. Thinking that is close to being it. And here comes another wandering horde. How about that? Did I did I guess that or not? Yeah, they're just blowing right through those. Well, this is a good, like, mini test of my defenses. And uh, they're not doing so well. Whoa. Whoa. Really, guys? I mean, yeah, you can walk right across all of them. That's fine. But that tells me that I'm going to need to fix those. Come on. There we go. Uh, did I just spend forged iron on that? Really? Okay. Well, it is almost horde night. And I need to get some protection here. Because I can't see a darn thing at night. Let's uh, scoot in here. It's going to be a pain to dig out of here, but worth it in the end. I'm even going to put one right there to remind me not to run out. Um, how many arrows did I wind up with? Um, 137. Not even close to enough. I don't have any in there. I don't have any in there. I just don't have... I just didn't get the supply that I usually have. Um, I did level up, I think. Oh, no, I didn't. I thought for sure I did. But I'm going to pause it there. That's going to have to do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.